Well then, how can you tell when you're really in love? and welcome back to my channel. So when you see this, I will be at university. Yeah! And she's very excited, let me tell you. One video that I've been watching a lot of lately is what is in my university bag? Now the reason I say this is because I'm very, I'm a very nosy person and like, I don't know, I always, I love watching those types of videos because I'm like, okay, well, you as a functional student on the YouTube, what do you take around to your lectures and like in your everyday life? And so I just thought that I would share with you what I take around with me in my everyday life. And if you're nosy like me and want to see what's in my bag, then keep on watching. Okay, so my bag is from Accessorize. It is just like your standard rucksack. It has this sort of like waterproof coat-like material on it. Um, it's got a front pocket, two water bottle pockets, and it's got two like actually padded straps on the back. Now, the reason I got a rucksack this year is basically because I took a handbag last year, and to be honest, in my opinion, handbags aren't the best for university just because you have you have to carry a lot of stuff around with you, and it is a lot of weight on one shoulder. And I used to get the worst like backache just from carrying around my handbag. So I thought this year I'd get like a an actually good rucksack that has like padded straps and is really comfortable to avoid that because I'm gonna have to be doing a lot more walking seeing as I'm now living in like a student house instead of halls. So it's about a 20 minute walk into uni, which obviously like is long if you're carrying heavy things. Um, so my bag was from Accessorize. I believe it was around 36 pounds. Um, and yeah, I really like it. So let's just see what's inside it. Okay, so in this first like front pocket, I have, oh, I have a pair of sunglasses because I mean, you never know when it's gonna get sunny. I always think, oh my God, I didn't bring my sunglasses. And then like, you wanna like chill on the downs or like go have a drink after lectures with your friends and it's too sunny and you're like, Wish I had my sunglasses. <laughs> Next thing I have in the front is a pair of earphones. These aren't actually my favourite earphones. These are my running earphones. But, um, you know, it's always important to have a pair of earphones with you, especially when you're walking to lectures. Like, it just makes the time go so much faster. You can listen to a podcast, listen to your music. It's just an all round good time if you're bringing your earphones. And I actually, whenever I leave the house without my earphones, I am literally just like annoyed for the rest of the day. Like it sets my day off so bad if I forget my earphones. The next thing I have in the front pocket, oh, is my reading glasses. So I think my reading glasses are from Boots. They're literally like Boots own reading glasses, but basically my eyesight is actually pretty good, but like I get eye strain when I'm reading for a long time. And obviously I do an English degree. So there is a lot of reading involved. Um, so I always have these with me just in case, because sometimes if I read for more than like 15 minutes, my eyes can really start to hurt. Um, and these just sort of help alleviate that, basically. Okay, so in the main section of the bag, we have a lot of things. So in my bag, there is actually like a laptop sort of, I don't know if you can see, like a laptop pocket. And basically it, it is just so good because it means I my laptop is protected, but it's not like, falling all around my bag and I don't have to bring a laptop like case. So that's really good and I really like that. The first thing I've got in my bag is a water bottle. Very important to always bring around a refillable water bottle with you so that you don't end up A, spending your money whilst you're out and also B, buying single use plastic bottles. So this is really good. Um, and around my campus anyway, we have like three water fountains that you can fill up with. Um, and also it's just good to stay hydrated and it's got like a little fruit filter in it in case you wanna like put some lemon in it or do something really tumbler like that. The next thing I have is my flask. It is from Smash. It is like this holographic material that I really like. At my university especially, and really just in any other facet of life, now I'm saying that, it's good to have a reusable sort of coffee cup or flask because 
A, at my university it saves you money because they take a bit of money off if you're using a reusable flask. But also, um, like, it saves you money in the sense that if you want to make a coffee before you leave home, then it will stay hot for like up to six hours. And so I can make a coffee first thing in the morning, not think about it until lunchtime and it would still be piping hot. The next thing in my bag is my wallet. My wallet is from Kath Kitson. It is just this little, like flowery design um it's got like loads of card bits and it's got a coin bit as well you know just like wallets tend to have i also have this like mini um this mini wallet which has my like like essential stuff especially for club nights i use this so um it has my student id my driver's license and then my debit card um but my debit card's not in it right now because um i spent too much money essentially. So this is actually my phone tripod. So for when I do weekly vlogs and I'm sort of walking around, the most annoying thing about vlogging on your phone is that like it's hard to find places to stand the cam like stand the phone up like to film yourself. So I bought myself this 10 pound like little like bendable leg phone tripod and it's literally like saved my life with vlogging. It's so good because you can just put it anywhere and film from any angle and you can like wrap it around branches um, if you're like, I don't know, for some reason filming in a tree. The next thing I have in my bag is a tangle teaser because I get the naughtiest hair literally you've ever seen. Like by the end of the day, my hair is like rat's tails because my hair is so bleached. Um, it's just the most annoying thing. Like I have to constantly brush my hair because otherwise it just looks horrendous. The next thing I have in my bag is this little like pencil case thing that isn't a pencil case, it's actually a little makeup bag and I just bring around like a little translucent powder, a powder puff, um, liquid highlighter because I uh, literally have no idea, although sometimes it can be really good to like freshen up your makeup after a long day, I don't know if you're going on a date or something. Um, I've got a lipstick and I've got concealer because my makeup just comes off by the end of the day and oxidizes and I look like a hot, sweaty mess. <laughs> the next things I have in my bag are my phone and laptop charger because there's nothing worse than running out of battery whilst you're at uni and having to scrounge for a charger. Although, to be fair, that is not really me, but not in this video. She's got her chargers and she's going to remember to bring them. Actually, nothing worse than your laptop running out in a lecture. Like actually nothing, nothing worse because you're on three percent. You're like, I'm gonna have to sit here for another hour and not even be able to take notes. Like, what is the point of me coming to this? The next thing I have is a notebook. Now I actually don't write my notes by hand, but I always think it's handy just to have a notebook in case, like, you need to like do a diagram or something like that. Like, it's just a good thing to have. I mean, I don't use it that often, but you know, it's there, so that's that's good for the notebook. Um, the next thing I have is my laptop. It is just the Apple MacBook Air. I think it's the 13 inch. Um, this baby's almost three years old. Three, four years old. Oh my God, it's four years old. This baby is about four years old now. Um, it's very loved. Um, and like, it is my child, but, um, you know, it's getting old now, so I might have to get a new one soon. Um, but he's okay, he does the job, he edits our videos, he hands in our coursework, um, so we love him for that. And then finally, in this like little pocket at the back, I keep some <laughs> pads, because you never know, girls, you never know when it's gonna happen, all right? I also have some Lem Sips because I literally am so prone to cold and disease, it's not even funny. So these are my cold and flu sachets in case I get actually ill in the middle of the day and I just like want to survive. Similarly, I have cough throat sweets, paracetamol, like I am your local student chemist. So if you're feeling poorly, then just be like, you are going Ella, I need some painkillers and I'll be like, then I've also got, sticking with the chemist theme, some blister plasters because being a student at the University of Nottingham is a lot of walking up hills and walking places and so plis blisters are inevitable. So I always have some Compede blister plasters. These are literally my favourite brand. Like if I could do a 
like September favourites, this would be my favourite brand of blister plaster, which is sad, but highly recommend, actually good. So finally, I have some hand sanitizer because you want to be clean. This one's from Bath and Body Works. God knows how old it is. It's probably not even sanitary anymore. And some tissues for when you're snotty and not loving your life. Okay guys, that just about rounds up my what's in my uni bag video. I hope you enjoyed having a little nose into what I carry around every day. I know I love these kind of videos, so like, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and the notification bell if you would like a notification every time I upload a new video. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, my at is at LMA Horton. Follow me on there for all the most up-to-date information on what is going on in my life. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!